Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. I've got an interesting video for you today. As you can see, we have an offering from Flex Solar. This is model G100. This is the 100 watt solar briefcase. So, this is rigid panels and it's a briefcase. Now, the current retail price at the time of me filming this video for this unit is around This is the panel, Model G100, solar panel briefcase. I'm very excited about this. I want to say thank you right off the bat to Flex Solar for sending this panel out for review. It's durable and weather resistant. This has an IPX5 water resistant rating, very cool. Foldable and portable, and charge multiple portable devices at the same time. So very cool, we're going to take a look at that foldable and portable solar panel. And then of course here on the back we have lots of stuff to look at. Like I live in the southwest so we have a lot of sun here so I love solar power. Let's go ahead and pull this out. There's a look at the pouch that comes with the panel and I'm looking at the zippers. Boy these are very big heavy duty zippers. The pouch is nice. It's very thin. It's like a nylon material. Looks like it does the job. I like that it says Flex Solar on there. I love the fact that these zippers are very thick. They're very heavy duty uh, zippers. Pull the panel out. Now looking at the panel itself, I love this can carry handle here. This is nice. It's got a nice rubber uh, thing here for your hand. And then you got these two uh, buckles here. Very cool, you can undo these little buckles. It looks like this thing's built pretty well. Wow, you open it up, you see a lot of stuff inside. I see a bag here full of accessories. I see an owner's manual and some uh, information there. So these are 50 watts a piece. I love this. This is glass. These are monocrystalline. They look like really good panels. I like this. It looks like they put this together very well. The hinge. This is put together very well. I like the little plastic things on the corners. Now here's the wires that they're talking about. This has an SAE connector and so does this. So this is cool. Here's the back portion here. We're going to look at this information here. This is a manual for the charge controller. So feel free to pause your screen if, if you want to read any of this information. This will help you get information on the charge controller. Here's that center page. And that page right there shows you how you can cycle through on the uh, charge controller. And then right here is more information. And I really hope that you guys are able to read that. Very cool. So there's nothing on the back here. We'll set that aside. And then right here, you have the owner's manual. I like what they did here. So feel free to pause your screen anywhere during the look of this owner's manual. So there's the table of contents. A little bit of information there. Here's a product overview page. And some specifications right here is some more specifications a little bit of information about the charge controller itself and there's some more info on the charge controller I think that's pretty much the same stuff that we saw in the other manual. Flip this over. Here are some charging parameters. 
some information on before using the panel and some operation rules. Right here is a little bit about maintenance and choosing a good solar location. And some warranty information. And then there is the product label of the panel itself and you'll also see this inside the panel and then right here is some contact information for flex solar so that's basically everything that's in this owner's manual so that's cool that they include that let's take a look at this pouch so you got this little pouch with these little chrome beads that's cool like base count beads almost and this is Oh, these are nice. So you have SAE to 8 millimeter. That is super cool. That's that 8055. And again, these are uh, one meter long, so they're three feet long. So this will plug in right here, just like this. And then when we're out in the sun, we can plug this right into our solar generators. That's cool. Now if we had a solar generator that accepted the Anderson right here, we could plug that in as well. So we would take this 8mm off and we'd plug in this one if we had one that needed Anderson. So I think that's super cool. And then right here you've got the positive and negative alligators. These fit on and they open pretty wide. So those will fit on the terminals of your deep cycle battery. And then right here, I love that they're color coded real well. Red, positive, black, negative. Those will go right here on the charge controller. Now I don't know why they didn't have those pre-installed, but they'll go just like that. And then you also have load terminals. So if you want to run any kind of load off of this charge controller, you can do that. And um, very nice that it has USB. And then these legs, let's take a look. Oh yeah, those fold right out. Those are nice. Those are pretty heavy duty legs too. No joke, wow. Those are, those are made out of steel. They're not aluminum, these are steel. So this is put together very well. I'm gonna take a screwdriver and I'm gonna plug in these alligators and just leave them right there so that tomorrow when we go out into the sunlight and we test this panel, we'll be ready to go. My first impression of all this, very high quality, uh, good, good high quality wires. So there's what it looks like with these wires connected. So that is just absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to go outside tomorrow and in the sun and see what this thing does. I love the way these legs are. These are very nice. This is a well put together unit. Okay, so right now you can see that I got 13.2 volts in my battery on the vehicle. So from here, to finish the setup, we're just going to plug these two together and this is going to basically turn on the solar. So now you can see I have solar coming in and I'm charging this, this battery on my coach. It's extremely simple to set up as you can see. At this point, we want to enter our battery type into the system. We're just going to cycle through these modes here. 12.6, 10.7, 24 hours, work mode, and B01. That's the important one. And B01 is for a sealed battery. A B02 is a gel battery. We need B03. So I'm going to hold that down. 
we want B03. That's going to be a, a flood battery. If you have B04, it's a lithium iron four strand. B05 is lithium iron five strand. B06, lithium iron three strand. And B07 is lithium iron uh, four strand. Lithium ion, rather. Once we get the battery that we have selected, we just push and hold this button again, and it'll reset. And then if we want to double check, turn the load off here, we want to double check and make sure that we have B03, which we do, so we're good to go. We can come back to the home screen, and as you can see, we are charging. Now, under B03, we've selected flood batteries or lead acid batteries. The equalization voltage is 14.6. The float charge voltage is 13.7. The discharge stop voltage is 10.7, and the discharge reconnect voltage is 12.6 volts. And now that we have everything set up, if we want to charge any peripherals, uh, we can plug them in right here. And here is my phone, for example. You can see that my phone is now charging. And just for fun, while we're plugging in peripherals, let's go ahead and plug in our GoPro and get our GoPro charging. So we'll plug that in right there and we're going to wait for a little red indicator to, to illuminate. There we can see that red indicator telling us that our GoPro is now charging. So we're charging a phone and a GoPro while charging uh, the coach battery. The cool thing about this solar panel is you can take it with you on your outdoor travels and it has high conversion efficiency. It's got premium solar cells in there and the efficiency of conversion is between 21 and 24 percent. This is a really high quality panel. It's ideally suited for mobile living and you can use this for doing work too. You can use it for off-grid recreation and this briefcase design provides convenient portability and it includes this fantastic kickstand. This kickstand is really nice and you can set it up just about anywhere. It's very robust built. Now this charging system, it's optimized, it's got an intelligent chip in there and it automatically identifies the connected devices and it adjusts the output current to offer the fastest possible charging speed available. So it's fantastic. So another thing that's really cool about this panel is the multiple ports that it has. The voltage switchable DC port allows you to connect the, the eight millimeter you can connect the Anderson port to it, or you can connect it to the charge controller as you see here. And you can charge your smartphones, your tablets, your laptops, power stations, which I'll show here in a minute, coolers, and much more things. Very, very cool. The negative ground charge controller is compatible with RVs, boats, trailers, things like that. So it's very cool. Now this panel is very durable. It's made out of industrial strength glass and it has corrosion resistant anodized aluminum which will withstand high wind and loads of snow. I mean this thing is built for performance. The weight of this unit is 23.15 pounds or 10 and a half kilograms. The dimensions unfolded as you see here is 42.6 inches wide by 27 inches tall and 1.3 inches thick. Uh, if you want to look at that in centimeters, that's 110 centimeters by 69 centimeters by 3.3 centimeters. Now, if you fold this thing and you close it, the dimensions drastically get smaller. So we're looking at 27 wide by 22 inches high by 2.6 inches thick. And again, if we look at centimeters, we're 69 centimeters by 56 centimeters by 6.7 centimeters. This is IPX5, so this is dust and water resistant. This panel does provide a two-year warranty. Its rated output is 100 watts. The open circuit voltage, and this is all information that's on that tag there that you're seeing. Open circuit voltage is 22.6 volts. Maximum power point voltage 
uh, is 18.4 volts and the maximum power point current is 5.43 amps. The short circuit current is 5.72 amps and this is a monocrystalline a solar panel. I like monocrystalline solar panels better than polycrystalline because if you have sun, like right now we got a beautiful day, we got wonderful sun out, so a polycrystalline would work really good right now. But if in the event that maybe some clouds rolled in or we got a little inclement weather coming or we don't have ideal sunlight, those polycrystalline panels at that point, they're just not going to produce as much. The monos will still produce good power and that's why I prefer them. And you can charge your batteries on your vehicles or if I had just a deep cycle battery sitting there on the ground, I could do it that way too. The charge controller that comes with this panel it's a pulse with modulation. It's a 20 amp charge controller at 12 volts, so very nice. And the carry bag that we saw earlier, this is made out of 1680D nylon. It's like a ripstop type nylon. Now the battery that I have under the hood right there that I'm charging right now is the coach battery. So that's a deep cycle battery. It powers like my fans, all my 12 volt stuff, uh, hot water heater, fans, refrigerator, all that stuff. I, on the other side of the vehicle, if you look off in that corner there, that's my actual vehicle battery. So in the event that I had a low battery and the vehicle wouldn't start, if I wanted to charge my car battery, I'd just come over here, plug those cables in there, and give a little time and it would boost my car battery. And this unit does have overload and overcharge protection. And if I wanted to use this SAE to eight millimeter to charge my power station, I can do that. I'll just take this wire that comes off the junction box, I'll disconnect it from the charge controller and I'll plug it into this and that will make this eight millimeter live. Then I can plug that in. You can see the green light is illuminated and I'm bringing in 66 watts right now, 112 watts right now. Uh, 123 watts that is fantastic 124 watts out of this solar panel and I'm currently using that solar power station to run my camera so let me see if I can get a little closer right now I'm looking at 125 watts of solar input out of a 100 watt panel that is absolutely fantastic okay when you're finished charging your portable power station it's very simple to come back to charging other things like for our example the coach battery off of these solar panels so to switch it back we'll disconnect from our power station and this is the SAE that's on the back of the junction box here from here we'll connect it right back to the charge controller SAE and as you can see we resume charging so now the solar panel is directing that voltage back to the coach battery at no point did we lose charging of our phone or charging of the GoPro because the charge controller itself was still connected to the coach battery through those alligators now another cool option that you have is if you want electricity you can connect this power inverter whatever power inverter of your choice you could connect this to the coach battery plug the negative in first and then when you plug the positive you'll see a little spark that's because it's loading the capacitors and at this point we now have electricity that we can use to run power drills tools anything like that and we still have the solar panel behind me charging the whole system and in the event that I was on a job site or something I could use this to power maybe power tools or things like that and I could get things done run a circular saw run a drill charge uh, power tool batteries whatever I need to do off of this power inverter I could use it to run a pressure cooker and all of that is coming from the Sun all of that power so we basically have an off-grid situation uh, right here in a nutshell my final thoughts on this flex solar 100 watt monocrystalline briefcase I like it it's fantastic I love the durability of it 
I love the output that I got on my solar generator. I love the fact that I can come up to my coach and charge my deep cycle lead acid coach battery. This is, this is absolutely fantastic. I could also use it to charge my vehicle battery. I think that's cool. I like the build quality of the unit. It's very easy. Uh, I like the charge controller even though it's PWM. It's just enough to get the job done. I like the fact that, that the charge controller that they selected has USB output because some of them don't. So I, I really can't say enough good things about this solar panel. The case, the accessories that come with it, it's all uh, really good stuff in my opinion. So with all that being said folks, thank you so much for stopping by and joining me today on this video of the Flex Solar G100 briefcase solar panel. I think it's fantastic. Please make sure that you're checking the description box down below. I'll put a link to where you can find this. And again, thanks for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.